Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. Today's April 16th, 2023. And we're coming up on a rare hybrid solar eclipse that's going to be happening on April 20th of 2023. We're just four days away. And the last time a hybrid solar eclipse happened was on November 3rd of 2013. Quite a long time ago, and I wanted to investigate some things here, and I found I found a bombshell. I found a bombshell which I don't know how to get excited about because every time we find the bombshell, it's not it. So I'm hoping this bombshell might be it, but we have to balance out our own desires with what might eventually happen differently than what we think. And so I did some investigating, and uh, as soon as I saw what I saw here, I called my brother Daniel Taylor, and we, we video chatted, and I wanted to share with him what I found, and I asked him to pray for me, because uh, sometimes it's hard to get the bigger picture on everything with... So many things happening, so many things we have to pay attention to, so many signs that have come and gone. Where, where do we go? What do we do with every new piece of information? So I asked him to pray for me. I shared with him and he was like, wow, definitely we need to be uh, watching this. There's so many things pointing to April 20th. And with this other uh, piece of information that I shared with him, he's like, this this is huge. So um, this is what I wanted to share with you. Okay, so before I move on and show you what I found, I want to show you why I searched out what I searched. Okay, um, we know that the two great American eclipses that are seven years apart. Really, if you go from August 21st, 2017 to April 8th, 2024, it's six years, six months, six weeks, and six days from eclipse to eclipse. But we also know that if you go just on a basic day count from the first eclipse to the second eclipse, it's 2,422 days. Then we were watching the middle day of the two eclipses coming up on December 14th of 2020 was the exact middle day of those two eclipses. And we had another total solar eclipse over South America. So within the, within the two American eclipses over North America, the middle point is another American eclipse over South America, and it was the first COVID vaccine given in the United States on December 14th of 2020. The exact middle point of the two eclipses. So having all of this information caused me to want to search out the middle point of these two very unique hybrid solar eclipses that are so rare that it's only 3% of all solar eclipses are hybrid e eclipses, and there's only seven in the entire 21st century. Only seven of these eclipses. Out of 224 total solar eclipses that there will be in the 21st century, only seven are hybrid, okay? So the last time this happened was November 3rd of 2013, going on almost 
10 years now. So this is a, in a very, this is a very amazing uh, sign. And so I wanted to look up the middle day. And this is what I found. So if you go from Sunday, November 3rd, 2013, to April 20th of 2023. It's 3,455 days. Okay, and if you divide that in two, it's 1,727 days and a half. 1,727.5 days. 1,727.5 days. Okay, and so... Where do we get to if we go forward from November 3rd, 2013, 1727 days, and we go backward from April 20th, 2023, 1727 days, what do we arrive at? Okay, so we have we have a number here, 3455, that is a an odd number, so it gives us a 0.5, which means that the uh, the result of this really spans two days. If you go forward and backwards, you're going to come to two different days, and it's going to span uh, the two days. Okay. Sunday, November third, two thousand thirteen, adding seventeen hundred and twenty-seven days brings us to July twenty-seventh, two thousand eighteen. And if you go backwards from April 20th, 2023, 1,727 days. It, it brings us to July 28th, 2018. So we have the exact middle point of these two eclipses spans between July 27th and July 28th of 2018. So what we have then in the exact middle point between these two hybrid eclipses 1,727 days going forward and 1,727 days going backwards, we come to July 27th and 28th of 2018. Not only on one of these days, but exactly on both of these days, July 27th and July 28th of 2018 was the longest super blood moon of the century and this longest super blood moon of the century was over Jerusalem and the eclipse went from the evening of July 27th to the morning of July 28th the eclipse spanned from July 27th to July 28th, and the exact middle point of these two hybrid eclipses brings us to both of these days, not just one of these days. And the, the total lunar eclipse, the longest super blood moon of the century, which was also over Jerusalem, was July 27th and July 28th of 2018. This was Israel's day of weddings to be off. The midpoint between 3,455 days divided by two, the midpoint is 1,727 days. And if you look at the day, July 27, it's also 727. We have a double 727 sign in this graphic. And in the numbers of these two hybrid eclipses, the middle point is pointing to 727. Between the day count and the date itself, July 27th is 727. And the midpoint is 1727. In the Strong's Concordance, 727 is Greek for rapacious which is comes from the word rapture a sudden snatching greek 726 is harpasso to snatch to violently snatch 
Greek 727 continues the same theme of rapture, a sudden snatching. And in Hebrew, 727 means ark. Now, we have already been talking about April 20th connected to the sign of Jonah. Because in and of itself, the eclipse is in the whale, Cetus, connected to Pisces. And so we have a, a, a C sign, a C sign in Pisces and in the whale. And this total solar eclipse, this hybrid eclipse is exactly in the whale. We've also shown you how it is connected to the sign of Jonah from June 24th, 2021 by 666 days from Jonah being saved from the rubble on June 24th, 2021. It's 666 days to April 20th, 2023. And the eclipse is in the constellation of Cetus the whale. So we have multiple ways of seeing how important this sign is as a sign of Jonah. But Jesus answered and said unto them, an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. There shall be no sign given to it, but the sign of the prophet Jonas. In the day of Jonah the prophet, there was a total solar eclipse that accompanied his preaching to Nineveh. And now we have a total solar eclipse, a hybrid eclipse in the constellation of the whale on April 20th. So for right now, this is what I want to leave with you guys. Um, this, uh, These two hybrid eclipses in the midpoint which was the longest super blood moon of the century over Jerusalem. The day of weddings in Israel, to be of, and between the day count and the actual date itself, it's pointing us to 7 to 7, rapacious, a sudden snatching, and 7 to 7 in Hebrew, which is ark. Are you ready for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? I pray you are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed.